www.investmentpressingsavings.com. We teach finance basics. Hi, I'm your host today, Ray Fu Wong. Today's topic: What is behavioral finance? Well, simply said, it's combining psychology as a tool to analyze stock market and investment decisions. Well, basically, it's trying to make sense with explanations to consumer and investing behavior that kind of doesn't seem normal behavior. Let's take an instance here. Let's say Jane here. She receives a new credit card in the mail. She is super excited, like a jumping giraffe. But even though she is unemployed and in debt, Jane buys a new dress for her credit card. Now Jane continues to use her credit card to spend more than she can afford. Now, after all, she has no job, but Jane is some kind of eternal optimist, and for the future, she's going to be able to pay off. And guess what? She cannot. Unfortunately, unable to make her credit card payments, and guess what? Her account is sent to a collection agency. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Now, here, let's take another example. This time, market is my investor. Come to her instinct. Market is moving up or down. Investors can develop a fear of missing out on a market opportunity. Let's take an example of popular coffee chain is on the rise. People are like, should I invest? Let's jump on the gun. This is herd instinct. Now these investors tend to follow the herd to buy or sell when stock is the most popular. Now one of the most examples, great examples of herd instinct is during the early 2000s called the dot com era when they had a tech bubble burst. Now our tip is for you to first understand your financial situation, understand the psychology behind consumer, and invest in behavior so you don't get into financial doom. And if you'd like to learn, about, learn more about financial basics, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Professor Savings.